Right, so this question is telling us to subtract an odd number from an even number. And the first part here is to show some examples so we can form a conclusion using inductive reasoning. Okay, well let's take, a, let's take an even number. Let's say um, 6, and from that let's subtract an even, uh, sorry, an, an odd number. Let's subtract 3, and we get 3. Um, let's take another one. Let's take 10, and let's subtract um, 9 from it, and we get 1. Uh, let's take, well, I don't know, let's take 14, and let's subtract from that, um, well, let's subtract 3, or actually, let's subtract 11 in this case. And when we do that, we get 3. Um, so in any case here, actually, I don't like the fact that I have two 3s popping up here. Let's do another one. Let's say 20 uh, minus, oh, oh, let's say 7 is equal to 13. You know, there's another 3 in there, but it's a little different. Anyway, notice that what we're getting here is um, when we subtract, okay, when we subtract an odd from an even, we get an odd. Now that's a conjecture that I'm making, just based on, on some examples that I've seen, okay? So, and that's that's inductive reasoning. I'm seeing examples and I'm generalizing from the specific to the to the uh, the general error. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to prove that that's actually true. Okay, so we're going to let uh, let's say n and m be natural numbers. Okay, and so that means so two n minus one is odd and 2m is going to be even. And so now if I take my 2m and I subtract from it 2n minus 1, when I distribute that negative through, I'm going to get 2m minus 2n plus 1, but I can factor a 2 out of those, uh, those two values right there, and I get 2 times a number, okay, so I'm going to get 2 times some number plus 1, which is odd. And so we've been able to prove that, yeah, when you subtract um, an odd from an even, the, the number that you're going to get is going to have the form of an odd.